In question seven, we're asked to find the uh, reactions of the uh, points P and Q on the plank. Um, in the first instance, I've annotated the diagram to show uh, the reaction at P and the reaction at Q. Uh, we have a boy of mass uh, 45 kilograms, so that's 45 G acting at P. And we have a boy sat at Y of mass 70 kilograms, which is 70 G acting downwards here. Also, don't forget to put the weight of the plank, which is 40 G acting at the halfway point, 1.5 meters. And given that XP is 0 0.7, then P to the center is 0 0.8. And given that QY is 0.9, Q to the center is 0.6 meters. In the first instance, um, a quick way of getting our Q would be to take moments around P. That would get rid of the reaction at P and also the weight of the child sitting there. So taking moments around P, we can see that we get rid of our P in 45G. We have 40G acting clockwise. We have the 70G acting clockwise and our Q is acting anti-clockwise and obviously anti-clockwise will equal clockwise at an equilibrium. So uh, writing our moment equation we've got uh, R Q times 1.4 is equal to 0 0.8 times 40 G plus and it's 0 0.8, 0 0.6 and 0 0.9 added together to get the distance to Y 2.3 times 70 G obviously dividing through by 1.4 we'll be able to calculate our Q and we should get a value of our Q to be 1351 newtons. The only thing left to do now is to uh, resolve vertically because that will mean we can get our P and our Q and now we know our Q we can calculate our P so resolving vertically, we can see that RP plus RQ is equal to 45G plus 40G plus 70G. Well, we know that RQ is 1,351. So RP plus 1,351 is equal to uh, 155G. So then if we divide, uh, we take away the 1,351, that gives us RP. Giving RP a value of 168 newtons.